Hello again, back with another video. Champion. Uh, survival tactics and tricks and stuff like that. People say for camping wise, like in America, you don't see many minorities, which I don't even believe in the minorities, but you you will see many people who are not white camping. And that's true. That is very true because of the fact the way society is for this country. Actually, most of the world minus Africa. They, these people, people in Africa will walk outside barefooted, 200 freaking Fahrenheit fighting lines with spirits. So, and you guys, you use a gun, so you can't say anything. Stop hating. Anyway, America wise, camping. You only mostly see why people and that becomes the terms of the social stereotype, the demographic way people put into your head or want you to believe or see you believe how you whack, you know, sociological control, social control, basically controlling anyone the way you want to get a better outfit for yourself. And you probably want that one turn for you. It's basically like what I said in my other video where you're purchasing a gun of color or Latino, like LS. And when I say Latino, I do not mean Hispanic, like like light Latino, or you can mistake for someone that's white. I mean Latino, like Brazilian, Ecuadorian, Dominican, Mexico. That um, same thing with Asians, like dark Asian. Had even some where people are so tan that. You might confuse them for a Middle Eastern. Yes, I have friends that are like that, so don't worry about it. Um, when you go in and purchase a gun, like I said earlier, you're not legally uh, legally obligated to register that gun, depending on their state or their country, for whatever reason. But if someone says you cannot buy this gun until you register it, it's a clear sign of messed up. Now. If you're gonna take it further than that, go for it. Me, I'm gonna take it further, so help you. You're gonna last manners. All right. Another demographic side reason who go hunting with our guns these days. So you really think people who can't get guns are who are allowed to get guns, but they have that stick with effect of not getting guns. It's, you can translate that to camping. Really, you want people go camping with one of you? They know very well. What the other one, not very well, you got like five strangers out there, why should I go camping with you or anywhere in particular when I don't know those people, so not many people going to do that. I, for one, camp, like, if you want to break yourself into camping or train yourself into camping, I always say sleep outside or sleep in the woods or sleep in the forest or the desert. Not that far from your place. Just get used to feel outside and start escalating again further and further. It's not that difficult to get used to camping or I won't say get used to get acclimated to that type of hiking or that camping. It's just put it, get yourself into it. If you're someone like me, you jump right into it head first. Uh, go for it. But in I would not, if I have a choice, which I always do, because I, regardless, I am not camping with strangers, I am not hiking with strangers, I am not hunting with strangers, I, with any strangers at all. There's only one type of people I would do that stuff with, if I don't do it by myself, there'll be people I know very well. If you're someone I barely know, or you in that group I don't know all, then I'm not going, period. Usually I like take chances, but I'm not taking chances with that. And if, if I ever do, since nothing is like not 100%, if I ever do and I see something funny, you and whoever out there with you will be loving the dirt or being fair to that bear or lion or, or mount lion, whatever. If you are in a situation like this, you need to make sure you are not walking in front of those people. Not that difficult. You stay behind them. The fact that they embody you out there, they should be the one leading. Not that difficult. And if they say, oh, come up here, come get this, you do not do it. 
make sure they still on the side of you where you can see them at all times. Otherwise, blah, 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 etc., etc. Some of this stuff is common sense. If you do go camping or hiking or hunting, know the path in between where you go camping or hunting or all this stuff, like the environment, the area. Know the site you are going to go to and know about 200 or 500 miles out that area. And know how to read a compass or how to freaking read the lot read features of the environment. There's only if you go camping, you don't know. When when I say that, I say other if you take it back two minutes, ease your way into it, you know what I mean. Study that stuff, learn that stuff. There's some there are survivor schools, campus schools for adult adult. If you are in a the military, there's specific special military training just for you. I'm not gonna name it as, but you know. Don't get caught. Get your finger broke or rib broke or drown or you know try to drown. Well but excellent training. Fun times. Um have fun. Try and if you do that, try not to stick to that one environment. If you have the money or the income or the chance and you have these people that you know very well who offer you to go somewhere else, like out of state, do it. If you try to train yourself into a different environment, don't say you're an excellent person in this type of section for camping and when you only been in an area that doesn't have highly resources of it. Don't when you can do all that in the middle of a desert or the middle of a barren land or middle of an ocean, you let me know and then we can talk on welcome to the group. Anyway, camping, hiking, hunting, not that difficult people. Also, spirit hunting is fun, but make sure you with that first group of people I said you are.